Welcome back, everybody. We have an important follow-up to our own special investigation about unprocessed rape kits, both here in our region and, for that matter, nationwide. During our special investigation, which we aired last year, we gave you an unfiltered look at what many women go through after they are violated and why, in many cases, these rape victims never get the justice that we all agree they deserve. Up to 500,000 untested rape kits are just sitting in police storage facilities right now all across the U.S. That means the potential rapists roaming free while the evidence that could put them away sits collecting dust in police storage rooms. Many victims assume that the wheels of justice are turning and that the police are on the case trying to put the attackers away. But without processing the rape kits, the wheels of justice, they grind to a halt. And that's exactly what happened to Natasha Alexenko, who was raped at gunpoint in 1993 outside her Manhattan apartment. apartment. Her rapist, he remained at large for nearly a decade because that rape kit sat untested for nine and a half years. The whole time, Natasha believed in the police were doing everything they could to track down the man who raped her. But in fact, that kit just sat there, unprocessed. Now, Natasha, however, she has turned her personal struggle into a public cause. She has found the Natasha's Justice Project. It seeks to erase the rape kit backlog nationwide. And tonight she joins us with a big announcement. Natasha, thank you again for joining us. And I know that you set out to do this, and a lot of people have helped you, but finally, uh, this thing's moving ahead. And um, I guess it's in California, which is the test case, right? Yeah, certainly we've um, been moving it forward and I have to say one of the great things about being on your show is um, each time I've been on, I, your viewers are amazing. They're very passionate, they're obviously very intelligent. So I, I, it's always an honor uh, to not only be uh, on your show. I wish I could show, say the same about my panel. But anyway, <laughs> um, to that end though, talk about what's going to be happening because as I think a lot of people learned, um, a kit like this that a victim has to consent to do in the most vulnerable of states here, and um, obviously you can speak to this firsthand, but after doing that, they assume, as I think everybody would, okay, now they're going to do everything they can to take the evidence in here and find maybe in a database that this offender had done this before and we're going to get the guy. But and it's not the cop's fault a lot of times. It's they don't have the money to process these things, right? And they just sit there collecting dust. Money is certainly one issue, uh, but the DNA has really been an incredible resource. And I think it's growing a lot faster than we're sort of able, able to keep up with. So it's part education and educating police to use it as a tool for investigations. It's not just for prosecution. It's a, it's a great tool to solve crimes because what we do know about criminals, they don't stick to one crime. Uh, somebody that decides to rape someone um, may very yep. well go to rob your home. Um, they're going to commit other crimes, perhaps sell drugs. In the case of the man that raped me, he was um, soliciting prostitutes, he was robbing homes, he was selling crack cocaine, he was committing assault. So we know that there's a variety of crimes. So when we test this kit, um, we can end up solving a lot of crimes, of course, put the victim's life closure for the victim's struggle, but also, you know, keep bad guys in jail and keep them from coming into your home and robbing you and, and making other victims in this nation. Tell everybody um, what's the next step now because you've got buy-in to this program and you've got people going to try and, and do exactly what you've been asking for for a long time. Well, certainly, and I think that we're really excited to announce, and again, that your viewers have been so supportive, so I wanted to make certain they were the first to hear that um, we are at present partnering with Alameda County, California. There's a wonderful district attorney out there by the name of um, Nancy O'Malley. Alameda County contains Oakland um, as well as um, Berkeley. Um, mm -hmm. There's some great communities out there. Uh, it's the Bay Area. And they have 2,000 kits that aren't even at the labs. These kits are in police custody. So that's 2,000 kits. Each kit is basically a human being who's, whose body was a crime scene. Um, and these kits are sitting on shelves. So Nancy O'Malley is very brave and recognized we're not out to point fingers. We're here to say, what can we do to help you? How yep. can we make your city safer? Uh, and, and she agreed to allow it, us in. Real quickly, um, this problem obviously isn't just in Alameda County. It's all across the country. And if people in our region want to reach out to their DAs and say they want more done, what should they ask for? Certainly. I think what we're facing is 500,000 kits, as you mentioned, nationwide. We do really make a big deal about finding out what's going on in our jurisdiction, and we're not getting answers. They're Just not telling question. us. How long sure. did it take to, to process a, a rape kit? 
At present, the technology is 90 minutes. 90 minutes is how long it takes to process a kit. Not very long at all. Nope. It, 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 does, it defies logic. So what I really encourage um, your viewers to do is, is, is come to our website, learn about a rape kit, learn about DNA testing, talk to the municipality. Because I think any time we've changed this as a society, it's because the people decide to band yep. together and say we're not going to take it anymore. So Well, it's terrific and there you see the project here and we've uh, linked the site to our own um, and we encourage you to check it out. Natasha, always good to hear from you and always good Thank to hear you. progress here on this front here. Uh, keep at it. Thank All right, you. everyone. Thank you very much. We will be right back. Everyone, please stay with us.